Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we are going to solve another coolest question, which is sum of all subjects x over totals. Okay. So basically what the question is saying, if you look at over here, they're saying like the x over total of an array is defined as a bitwise x over. Okay. Of all its element or zero if the array is empty. All right. So for example, x over table is the 256. So it's 2 x over 5 or x over 6. Okay. Is one. Okay. So what the question is saying, if you can look at over here, we are something like 1 comma 3. We are something like 1 comma 3. And we have to calculate, give the give its total sum. Okay, total sum of its all subsets. So what the what what is the subset subset of one comma three? The subset can be uh, two and uh, one and three. Okay, so once I calculate them, once I calculate them, there's some come up six, and that's what is our answer. So that's what we have to written over here. All right. So let me just give you a, a little bit good explanation like how we want to solve this question. So that's the same thing like what the question is saying. What what just I told you. We, I have to give it subset and i have to calculate some so how you want to solve this question so i will use a recursion method recursion recursive method to solve this question all right guys so let me just give you an example like how to solve this question all right guys so what i will do uh let's say we we have something like i will take i will take five four five one six okay so we have something like five one six all right guys so to, to solve this i will use the help of uh include and exclude so what is it mean like one time i will include uh the number in my array and the another time i i will not include so what did i mean let's say we have uh, i'm doing like this okay so this is my exclude this is my include so once i'm including it then what will happen my five will come in my array list okay and if i'm not including it my uh, am i just excluding it so it will come as empty over here okay so again what i will do i will create include exclude so once i'm including it what will happen my one will come in my array list five comma one okay if i'm not including it then what will happen only five will come over here now in this one so i have to include and exclude so if i include this one then what will happen my one will come over here in my array list and this will it will go empty over here okay similar thing will happen over here include exclude so once i'm including what will happen five one six will come over here and if i'm not including it then what will happen only five comma one will remain okay five comma one all right guys similarly in this one five so what will happen when i'm including it once i'm including my five comma six will come if i'm not including it then what will happen only my five will remain now in one so what will happen in one so if i'm including it then what will happen my one comma six will come all right guys if i'm not including it i'm excluding it then what will happen only uh one will come uh one, yeah one will come okay so this one will become if i include this thing so then six will come if I not include, if I exclude it, then my it will give my empty one. Okay, empty array list. Alright, guys. So if you carefully look at over here, what what is happening? We are going level by level. So we are going level by level. Initially, let's say uh, this is my level zero. I think this color is not busy. I uh, is this color is okay. Yeah. So this is my level zero. This is my level one, and this is my level two. Alright, guys. So what this level is saying, like it is counting its index. Like we have to, like uh, we are going every time. So like first time I I will do include exclude. So once I uh, once I reach the limit, then I will go for the another level. Okay. So once my level limit, once my array limit reach, then I will close my level. Okay, guys. So that's what I am doing over here. I hope this thing is clear. If still not, don't worry. Once I will write the code, you will definitely gonna understand like what I am doing. Okay. So let me just erase it and start writing our code. All right so what i will do i will first of all uh create one helper function okay so my helper function will help me to um i, I will call one function which th that function help me to calculate what once i'm including once i'm not including it okay the xor or, or, or that uh array all right guys so i will create my helper function and i will say in, in helper nums and my level is zero initially and the current xor the current xor of that number initially will be zero okay and uh, I will return it as well. I will return it as well. Alright, guys. So I hope this thing is clear. Okay. Now what I will do? I will call that helper function. So public int helper. So int nums. And my initially level is zero. Yes, guys. And uh, my initially current xor current xor will be zero as well. As I mentioned upside, if you look at over there, all right now, oh my mistake. Now, what I will do, I will create one include function. So I will say int include. So in my include, I will call to my helper function. Okay. And I will say nums level 
plus one. Okay, so my level will be increased one by one. Okay, so it will go recursively. Okay, and uh, the another thing is I have to calculate their XOR. Okay, the I have to calculate my current XOR including my the, the another number. Okay, so what will happen? So my current XOR uh, is power nums level. Alright, guys. I hope this thing is clear. And what I will do, I will create one of my exclude one as well. So my exclude is helper nums level will increase as well in, in exclude. It does not matter like we are we, because like we are not including us. The thing is like we have to increase the level. Okay. And uh, I will just simply call my current because we, we are not uh, considering the uh, another, another number. So we are not considering any other another number. So whatever we have, we just uh, calculate the x of the remaining one. So whatever we have, right? We will just uh, calculate the x or of that. Okay. And finally, I have to I will return their sum. So sum will be into uh, include plus exclude. Okay, guys. Now one more thing. I will create one base condition. My base condition will be uh, if my level is equal to my nums dot length. Alright, guys. So what it means like once my once my array like let's say i have 516 so one once i will receive my complete one 516 and it's on the optimum le level then i will sim simply return my xor i will simply return my current xor over there okay that's what i'm doing over here in my base condition all right guys i hope this thing is clear like this is a very simple question it's very simple question that's all the code is let me just run it let's see if any compilation error over here and uh is is going very well all right guys so i hope this thing is like what, what i did let me just give you a quick overview as well so what I did, I will create, I, I will make a call to my helper function in which I, I'm giving my level and I'm giving my current XOR. Alright okay, guys. And another thing is like, uh, I'm creating one include and exclude as well in this one helper function. Okay. So the include will, will include the new element in the exclude will not include any other, any other element. Alright okay, guys. And finally, I will return my sum over here. Okay. So that's all the like code is saying. And let me just summarize as well. Let's see any uh, compilation error. And uh, like yeah all the test cases are passing and it's, it's going 100 percent faster okay so guys i hope this question is crystal clear to like how we are uh, approaching this question so i just want to say like if you still have any doubt ladies and gentlemen just do let me know in the comment section and uh, ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching this video if you still don't understand i will just try to watch this video again you will definitely want to understand and if still any doubt then just do let me know in the comment section so, so ladies and gentlemen thank thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in the next one till then take care bye bye and i love you guys believe me i love you man bye bye